Leo, what it be, yo? It is me, Ra. It is she, Ra. It is Vira. It is Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. You guys, this has been my fourth time trying to record this video, y'all. Y'all let me know if you guys want me to try to upload all of the interrupted videos, y'all. Now, the last interruption was because my new deck came in the mail on um last thursday which i wasn't expecting into the new moon in scorpio this deck was not even scheduled to get to me the muse deck yes the muse tarot this deck was not even expected to get to me until may 7th shout out to everybody that's looking forward to the scorpio moon and it's already <laughs> getting them energies and them vibes and stuff of that scorpio listen that scorpio full moon y'all already know that that's about to be some intense energy for the water and for uh the earth signs okay so if you are water or earth signs oh honey it's about a, it's about to be in a beautiful trip that's all i'm gonna say but listen so yes the last interruption was because i got this deck so um number one thank you to every last person who supports my page in any form through personal readings through sending gifts through the Amazon wish list. Um, thank you guys so very, very much. Um, I cannot, I love this deck and it came early and it was a big surprise to me and it was just as a surprise period so i just appreciate all of the love and stuff like that so y'all let me know leo if y'all want me to upload my distraction videos and that's three of them now it's three of, it's three of them so listen all right so listen thank you guys for sticking it in there with me if anyone would like to book a personal private reading with scorpion red tarot all you got to do is click that about tab on my YouTube page, all right? And my pricing information is there. You send me an information on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can download this app called Google Hangouts. And you can send me a message on Google Hangouts so we can do the video chat there. Um, and again, if you would like to contact me for any reason, Instagram is always the best form of contact at the Instagram or my email. Y'all feel free, feel free to reach out to me at any point in time. And number one way of showing love and support is by subscribing and hitting that like button. Um, first off, you know, we always got to give thanks to the creator for waking us up, for giving us burnt toast and coffee. Okay, for giving us nourishment and clarity and just vision towards the future. So let's just kind of you know bow our heads if you will and just give thanks to the lord today so father god thank you so much for um bringing us here for the sign of leo i thank you so much for all the clarity all of the vision i thank you so much for the warmth and the uh, help during this journey father god i realized that in trying to do this video um that no matter how many times you got to start over, I feel like the real reason why I had to start over is because by the time that I really sat down and focused to do this video, number one, I was dressed in all white, okay? Come on now, all right? Cleanliness is the next thing to godliness, and I changed my decks up dramatically for this reading, and I feel like it has a purpose. Um, those other videos, I feel like... It was a message during that day and during that time for those group of individuals. And I feel like the reading with these decks and the message for today is for this group of individuals. So I just want you to um, continue to move us and guide us and remind us in every day and every way that what we do, there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes. Everything that happens in our life is destined and is pre-planned by you and you know what you're doing you know what i'm saying so if you tell us to sit down we got to sit down if you tell us to be quiet we got to be quiet if you tell us to be patient we got to be patient because you know what we've been asking for and you know what you're trying to do for us father god so i appreciate everything that you're doing for the leos you know that you keep us strong you keep us determined you always keep us pressing forward and just you know 
with a certain level of wisdom and the gift of binocular and just being able to make people smile and make people feel protected. So, you know, but number one, we got to feel that strength and that protection within ourselves and on our journey. So, Father God, thank you so much for just keeping us covered. Give us guidance again for the sign of Leo. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for the sign of Leo for May 2020. Show me the money energy because this year, my dear, people got to show us their worth. They got to show us their worth before they can gain access to us. You understand? Yes. So in 2021, we really going to have some fun. So thank you again, Father God. Give us guidance for today and every day. Amen. Yes. So let's get into this, y'all. Um, I have went old school. Um, number one, this is the first deck that I've ever purchased here. So I got this baby out. I actually got nine decks on the table. Um, so if I feel... The need to I can read from all of the decks and if I just feel the need to read from a few of them to get the message out that's what I do I'm just gonna go to wherever um, spirit is moving me to right now um, I am coming over here to the pretty unicorny side so let me show you these decks that are over here over here is just like straight up <laughs> beautiful like unicorn <laughs> like pink power rage pussy type of shit you understand what I'm saying Yes, God. So I'm being called over here to the beautiful side. So we're going to go over here. Not saying that this is something wrong with this side over here, but it's just it's just different vibrations of colors. So let's see what type of unicorn energy we got for you guys. All right, this May. What they got to say, Leo? What it be, yo? What it be, my baby? Y'all, my first sign that ever hit um a thousand in views leo was the first sign that i ever got like major views on so i definitely will always have a certain love for my leos okay y'all just popping out like that jesus lord okay we got balance we got courage and we have cycles let me turn this light down a little bit. I feel like this light be reflecting a little bit too much. Okay, so again, balance and courage right here. I like these two colors. I like these two cards because it's just basically letting me know that y'all are on y'all shit right now. Y'all are really on y'all shit. Like, y'all are just, like, flying in the right direction. There's a lot of green. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of prosperity. There's a lot of abundance around you, you know? There's a lot of steadfast, forward, patient steps, cycles right here. This represents understanding. And you see that moon in the background. So it's like, you know, your intuition is driving you throughout this process right now. You're coming through a lot of understanding with things that happened in the past because it's helping you with the growth. And as cycles are changing and new cycles are starting in your life and new phases are starting and old ones are being phased out, you completely understand everything right now. I don't feel like... Um, there's a strong emotional pull where your thoughts go negative anymore. Um, with this purple and this white and this green and this white, um, it seems like there's been a level of purification here. And you're definitely on a journey. You're on a self-voyage right here. And it's being driven by your intuition and by your strength right here. And um, I feel like you're picking up a lot of, you know, that's why I call my crew the collective gatherers. You know what I'm saying? Because at any point in time, Especially when things are feeling off balance, when we know that we're having a transition, we don't have no problem with collecting and gathering our goddamn self up. You understand? What's that? That solar plexus and that sacral chakra right there? That's knowing what you got to do and knowing what you feel. Okay? So if you ain't got the solar plexus and the damn sacral chakra together, you don't know what you got to do and you don't know what you feel, there ain't going to be no understanding. There ain't going to be no love and prosperity and growth with that um heart chakra with that green there. Do you understand? If you don't know what you got to do and what you feel, things ain't going to go right. That's why you got to have that balance there. That's why you need that balance to transform and things like that. I love this energy right here. Now I'm understanding why we had to change the decks up. Most definitely. So let's see what we got here. Okay. Number one, it says you are safe. Fear is an illumination. Mm, hold on. It says 
You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Come on now. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Let's get into this. Okay, let's 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 clarify this. We're just going to go through and clarify each one of these real quick. Okay, so Father God, give me guidance, even though this one just fell. What is this? The Queen of Materials in the reverse. So the Queen of Materials is basically um the Queen Mother, Queen Sheba. But right now, Queen Sheba, like her well has run a little bit dry. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there might be a drought going on right now. She's not able to take care of her crops. Um, she's scared that there's not going to be a full harvest because of like the normal torrential rain patterns and stuff has changed up. Like things with nature has caused an impact on her sustainability in regards to her house, her children, her animals, her plants her environment so it was something clearly and we know what that something is right now that changed the sustainability in regards to this queen and her household and her being able to take care of every single thing that is important to her and the most important thing to a queen of pentacles is her family she's deeply rooted in her family she's a hard worker so she could be out of work right now you know all right, y'all know what song just jumped into my head. Pimping ain't no illusion, and pimping ain't never died. Something with confusion. Y'all know what I'm talking about. UGK, something, 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 and it threw up in the game. Blah 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 blah, blah. and the something and the change. Pimping ain't no illusion, and pimping ain't never died. Yes, listen. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's just that beat. Doom, doom, do, 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 do. Boom, 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 boom. If y'all know about OGK, y'all know I me, mean, UGK, y'all know what I'm talking about. Listen, listen to me. Pippin ain't no illusion. I know you are a witness. Okay, so listen. Courage, courage. Courage right now. And now they're saying silence. 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 Whatever the little uh, Kung Fu dude was up in um <laughs> up in Martin. Y'all know the little Kung Fu guy. I'm picturing him. <laughs> Remember the episode where he coming up to the ATM, he trying to get some money out the ATM, and he ended up getting his ass whooped out the ATM and shit like that. Oh my god. He's like, silence, silence. So listen, I don't know why I'm getting like you getting your ass whooped by your ATM or whatever, and it's just like you just want everybody to be quiet. Like you just need some silence, you need some balance so that you can kind of focus right now and you realizing that all of this shit going on it's just a cycle it's not even a cycle that is affecting you it's a cycle that's affecting everyone you understand but pimping ain't no illusion it's something about you're not willing to be pimped into the illusion that you're not safe to the illusion that you need anybody or to the illusion that you're going through some type of negative cycle. I see a lot of butterflies here. So there's a lot of understanding about you're needing balance and courage in order for you to involve during this cycle right now. And not only that, you are not the only one that is down right now. So show the ones that are down how to wear the crown, okay? Because it's like you're not going to be pimped and be alluded to the fact that you don't got nothing and that you're not safe and they something is, is it, no 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 a true pimp ain't never down you understand what i'm saying because a true pimp a true player a true hustler know how to deep their roots are too deep in the game you understand to ever be without a dollar you understand what i'm saying they know how to make dollars without running to the system do you understand what i'm saying so pimping is an illusion if you if it if, if, if the man, I guess, this is where I'm I don't know why I'm having to talk to y'all like this. It's like if the man goes and fucks up the system, you know what I'm saying, and everyone is out of work, only a true pimp knows how to go out there and plant their own crops, their own fruit. It's like using your skill, using everything. 
that you normally would use to sustain yourself that you wouldn't even thinking about could make you money or that you know what I'm saying that got you together it's like you got some deep roots into some like not no street level shit. Why do I want to say that? But it's like you're a hustler. It's 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 like you kind of got to get down to them to them nasty roots a little bit. You understand? Like um, they're trying to show me right now like a bed of flowers or something. Like even throughout a drought or whatever, there is still some water left all the way down at the at the root of that soil that. The flower can survive on for a couple of days before it really just died. So there's still some nourishments and some vitamins and stuff deep down in you that you can still sustain your family on even during this drought. You understand what I'm saying? It's like your roots are made to survive. It's like you got to just use them. You got to get you got to put your hands in the mud. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have to get yourself dirty this time in order to do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, you're still a successful, beautiful, vibrant queen. I feel like you just got to go dig down to your roots and you just got to get your hands a little dirty right now. You know, just stay in balance. Understand that you the cycle and it's some shit that none of us had anything to do with. And it doesn't determine your success or your fame. Because these motherfuckers don't know your name. You know, you are Rhea. You know what I'm saying? What is this here? This is the four of voices. So this is the four of swords. What this is basically saying is you guys are tired of being trapped in thought. Being trapped in a house. Being secluded. You want to go outside. You want to speak to people i feel like you haven't been able to like actually speak to people and express your mind and um there's things that you wanted to create in it i feel like you want to have like a balanced conversation like a face-to-face -face balanced conversation with another human being with another human being and you haven't been able to have that and i want to say that that's um what is this here Oh, I love this. Look, she's having like a, listen, she's having a goddess bath and things like that. Yes. It's like you already did your goddess bath and everything. You've already, like this is someone that has been doing like very, very deep self-healing treatments throughout their time that they've been kind of locked in doors and everything like that. And it's like, man, I'm really ready to get out and kind of like vibrate this energy off to another human being and just have a like balanced conversation with someone like it's like I'm ready to get the fuck out of this house like you know it's like I just want to talk to some another human being give me guidance about the cycle please let's have a flip over yes justice in the reverse you feel like things are not fair um Things are not fair, and they say that you're worried about, like, the justice system, like, what the government is going to do, like, it's like you don't feel like they are focused on the people, and it's kind of giving you a headache, and your time watching the news is just like, it just, I feel like it angers you a little bit, whatever is being said, look, the tenor voices, it's like, You're pulling yourself out of this whole thing of being trapped up into, I feel like, information. Like, too much information. I feel like you've been receiving too much negative information. And it's, like, tired of it. Like, you might have just, like, cut the news off and things like that. Because it's like you feel like the justice system is stupid. They're not caring, actually, about the people. There's no real remedy. There's no... They're just talking about testing, but... There's no cure. And then at the same time, it's like you're not about to sit here and be a guinea pig. You just don't even want to fucking listen to it anymore. Because I feel like the more and more that you focus yourself around this onslaught of just information and stuff, it's causing overthinking. And it's not keeping you balanced. And it's like I'm not about to go through no cycle of fucking bullshit. It says everybody has its it says everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body and tune into the moon's magic. So y'all know that the Scorpio moon is about to come. Right? So with the Scorpio moon that is about to come, it's about um, 
acceptance and forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? Appreciation and forgiveness. You understand? What you need to do is throughout this cycle right now, there's a lot of things that you're appreciative for. And there's a lot of things that it's like you need to seek forgiveness for. Certain, certain things that you need to just forgive and just let go. It's like, yeah, right now, I, shit ain't fair for me right now. Because of the mistakes and the things that the government is doing. Like I, Me and my family are being affected by this right now. But it's just a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, the hardest part of this shit is over. The most hardest part is, like, you just stop thinking about it and stop worrying about it. You know what I'm saying? And just, like, and let this, this, this too shall pass, basically. So, what we're going to do here is, on that Scorpio full moon, all right? Looks like you guys have done your spiritual cleansing. Y'all have healed. Y'all have gone on y'all journey. Y'all ready to get out. You're ready to show and prove your balance, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to think about things that... We want to forgive and let go. Um, and, and I mean any and everything. It don't have. Don't limit yourself to people. Let it be places and things as well. You know what I'm saying? Things that you just, things that you just accept. To find your differences in. And, and, and you might have a different opinion. Or, or you might just think shit ain't fair. And you just like listen. It is what it is. I'm just going to let it go. And I'm going to find peace with it. And then we're going to also write things that we um, are very appreciative for. And then we're just going to burn it and we're going to let it go. The Queen of Material. What's the advice for the Queen of Material? So, it says the Tower in the Reverse. So, the Tower in the Reverse is like avoiding something that's inevitable. Like, if you know something is about to just crumble down in your face and everything like that. And you try to do every single thing in your heart to fix it. It's like, just avoid a disaster. Like, you already see something that is about to amount to some type of failure or something that is coming. Like, something that's about to fall down on you. If you don't get out of the way, like, you keep trying to do patchwork on a crumbled foundation. Get the fuck out of the way. You understand what I'm saying? Get out of the way. This is not even something that you don't see coming. This is something that you very much so see coming. You know what I'm saying? So you see it coming. Like you see the person jumping out of the fucking way. Jump out. You know what I'm saying? Like have you ever known like an earthquake or something? And it's like you feel the foundation of the building about to collapse under you. And it's like I know it seemed crazy, but. I'm a fucking die if I sit in this fucking building and this whole building falls down on me. I'm better safe than just jumping out of the fucking window. At least I would survive the fall. I'm not going to survive if this roof and everything caves down on me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like don't let the roof fall on you. Just go ahead and just jump. Like take a leap. That's like jumping out on faith a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really getting a fool card right there with this girl jumping out like that. It's just like, man, fuck that shit. I'm, I'm not about to fall down with this shit. I'm not about to sink with this ship. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell no. The five of emotions. This is someone that is mourning over some shit from yesteryears. Some shit that they can't control. Some shit that they can't change. You know what I'm saying? The four inspiration. Like, this could have something to do with a marriage here. This could have something to do with a marriage. Some type of foundation connection or something. I, 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 why am I feeling like because this queen of materials, because this queen of pentacles, she lost her job, but his money ain't coming in no more. Shit ain't growing the way that it was. Like there's a whole bunch of chaos and a whole bunch of confusion going on in this house. But it's not that she didn't see it coming. I feel like this girl was well aware of the fact of if... Anything ever happens to my pocket, shit ain't going to be the same no more. This is something that you couldn't avoid. And it's like this, 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 there, y'all could be icy cold to each other. There could be some icy cold communication. Um, there could be some regret. There could be some worry. Um. It's a lot of emotions right now. There's a lot of crying. Um, 
the four of inspiration that represents the four corners of a home you know what i'm saying that represents like um a reunion having to be taking place like a party like a wedding uh you know like some type of spiritual connection where it's like all four cylinders are supposed to be going do you understand what i'm saying so this woman is crying about a foundation a marriage you know what i'm saying like a reunion that's what she's crying about i don't know if this girl had hopes of this reunion and and thought that um it was based off of more than just money but it looks like some it seems like money broke a foundation that's what it seems like to me and if you can see this girl coming in connection and in harmony with another group of females i feel like she has like a soul group like a soul tribe or something that has kind of helped her heal from this like icy state of just like emotions right now because she could be very cold um right now because she's hurting and she might not know any other way how to express the emotions and the hurt that she's dealing right now other than being cold and being mean to people and this group of women are kind of like helping her kind of heal her foundations or something like that um so yeah, it's like these, these these women are coming together like they talk and um yeah, that's why I'm saying like this girl is just going through some type of spiritual cleansing. She went inward, did her own soul path and journey. Yeah, like she has a group, a spiritual group or something that's been keeping her whole right here. And I feel like she's maybe everything has been like online or something. I feel like they've been doing something virtual where they've been having to send their vibrations through the air and things like that like over the air waves or something like that um i feel like this person has been left with her emotions without her friends or something like that um i feel like this is like her safe family or something like that and like she really just wants to get out of the house and uh i feel like to talk with her group and things like that because they kind of help her stay strong with this strength here fear is an illusion do you understand what i'm saying so there's nothing to be fearful of and, and and another thing if this is very much so true that uh this group of people give you security sincerity love and abundance and stuff they're helping you throughout this way there was a reason why god secluded you from this group because it's like God wanted to test to see if you can deal with these emotions by yourself and not be sad and not focus on that and turn this five of cups around where you're focused more on the future and not relying on this group right here to be this foundation to be this pillar of strength for you. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to do a little bit more like cleansing you know what i'm saying because you need to feel safe within your own self within your own skin it's like you can't blame the system and 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 things like that it's like the worst is over but it's like you have to see that within yourself i appreciate it and i love the fact that this group is helping you but you went through this cycle right now for some level of understanding you know what i'm saying this a this is a battle left to fall alone and if you don't stop thinking of the worst and what things did and how fucked up things are um you'll have many many more days of the same situation and you'll always be looking for a group of people coming together to connect you to put you whole you have to mentally you know understand that this too shall pass and you have to realize that this is your life and other people can't pull those negative thoughts and those swords out of your mind you have to do it for yourself and it's truly over you know what i'm saying so whatever it is it's like it was a cycle everything has its right time honor the cycles of your body tune to the moon's emotions so remember write down what you are thankful for what you have gratitude for right now not for what you want in the future, but right fucking out where you stand and right what you need to let go. And that's going to help you. 
You know what I'm saying? Let me get a little bit more on this boy voice right here in regards to this balance. Um, but spiritual groups are to help us help each other. But at the same time, we got to still be able to demonstrate that same focal point of information when we look at that man in the mirror. It's about you having that connection with spirit, with God, and with that man in the mirror more than you relying on them. They are just, you know, a tool to help everyone come together and realize how blessed that they are. Listen, the ace of inspiration. The ace of inspiration. So, I, I don't know why when I see this here, I think of, this is a succulent plant right here. Now, remember when I was saying something about, like, a plant that... Um, it can survive a long time without water or something like that. It can survive a long time without water. It like um, its root system is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? I love succulent plants. I, I have I have one of them. So um, and I take a lot of good care of my succulent plant, and it's actually been growing like hell. You know what I'm saying? But you really don't have to water succulent plants that often. And I don't know why I'm also picturing a pineapple a pineapple tree or something like that is something about this that I'm just like getting very pineapple and then I'm seeing like this Aztec uh, this yeah it's Aztec design or something like that um what the fuck is that yo why do those literally look like some type of spores Yo, do that do do those not look like the fucking corona spores? I'm sorry, y'all. That shit dead ass look like them little co corona spore things or whatever. And you know what I'm really thinking here is like And you see the um what are your mind? What are your mind in your body? Take care of your mind and your body. Um I feel like I don't know if this someone just, it seems like the sickness is leaving your body. Was someone fighting the sickness with the coronavirus or something like that? I feel like someone might have had the fucking coronavirus. They might not even knew that they had the coronavirus. Because it's like your deep roots or something. I don't know if like you're Mexican or something like that. Um, There's something about your bloodline has an immunity or something like that. Like you're very well hydrated or something. Like your roots are very well hydrated or something. And for whatever reason, the sickness just bounced right off of you or something. Like it wouldn't stick. You know what I'm saying? It's something about your heritage or something. Your chemistry or something. Like it doesn't affect your people or something. I don't know. But um, I feel like you guys need to release your mind from all of that sickness because I don't feel like it'll affect your body, but it will affect the mind if you let it. Remember, pimping is an illusion. Pimping ain't no illusion. It ain't no illusion. A motherfucker can really do get in your mind and can take over your mind and create a mental sickness because of what people feed you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like continue with your cleansing. I, I don't feel like I feel like the sickness would just bounce right off of you because of your blood type of your blood chemistry or something like that. This is about a new day. Pineapples are very I want to say succulent. I wanted I wanted to say pineapples are very succulent until I realized that this is a fucking succulent plant. And then look, the cactus is a different form of a succulent plant. Like literally, there's water within the roots. And when you bite into a pineapple, it's so juicy. Like on the outside of it, you wouldn't even think that a pineapple is as juicy and is just as tasty as a fruit that it is on the inside it's something about you can withstand the heat you can withstand the lack, the lack of moisture the shit is within like the juice is within you you understand what i'm saying you have to like release all of the sickness block all of that shit out of your mind and allow yourself to fucking grow because this is basically like a new beginning it's like you are able to stand the test of times and it's something about this situation with this lack of you being forced to 
make a way when there's no way right now because I don't know you lost your job it's like you tapped into some other shit that you love you tapped into like your roots like your real skills or something you tapped into that uh what it called your emergency pantry you know what I'm saying like not even your emergency pantry I feel like you have a lock on the emergency pantry like you got storage and food storage outside of the actual emergency pantry door that you can take from before you really got to break into that mother I don't know why I feel like you're well prepared for some reason and I don't know why y'all had some type of feeling like you're like ill prepared or something like that it's just like some type of worry because you're focused on the justice system or people being left without I don't even feel like I don't even feel like you're truly left without. Um, give me guidance on this five of emotions, please. Helpless and uh, helpless and hopeless. Like there is something going on within you about this helpless and hopelessness. It's about, and I don't, I don't know if like. Also, y'all have been going in cycles with someone in court where you felt like people were not hearing your voice, but you feel like the worst is over, like the shit is over now. Um, the moon, the cycles of the moon, you feel like there was some shit hitting that maybe you weren't able to express or tell somebody or maybe someone wasn't listening. And it's just like, well, whatever. It's like I'm looking into the sun, into the sun now. You have to communicate and vibrate higher a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like over this helpless and hopelessness as above, so below with that number eight. You know what I'm saying? The number eight um, represents your manifestation, your manifestations and your authority. You know what I'm saying? Um, it represents giving and receiving. So what you give, you shall receive. If you are communicating to the universe that. Regardless of the fact, the fact that the mountain has been parted for you so that you can see the sun, that the only thing that you're communicating to the universe is that um, there's loss of justice, um, you feeling like you were betrayed and backstabbed and like you're having a hard time getting over it, getting over it, but you realize that things will get better. It's just you're just trying to get a balance of the mind and things like that. That's cool, but you really have to. It's like you have to choose a direction. Is your only communication going to be about the injustice or is it going to be about the justice that will be served once you get on this right path and you focus on the sun? You know? You got to focus on the sun and focus on your sun too. Somebody somebody needs to focus on their sun. It's like who cares you know what I'm saying it's I mean not 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 to make it sound like that like who cares but at the end of the day it is like who cares you know what I'm saying about all of that shit in the past the shit is over so that you could create a new day that's what this is you know what I'm saying listen the new beginning wanting to talk to other new human beings and things like that want to express yourself have a balance that's good so pick a direction and just choose wisely and just get over this helpless and hopeless bullshit. Understand that the cycles were meant to happen for a divine purpose and a divine reason. Okay, ace of inspiration. Listen, clarity of belief. Just know what you stand for and continue to manifest that by speaking the clarity in your belief that I know that I'm strong. I know that I'm courageous. I know that this too shall pass. I know this is a fucked up ass cycle. But shit, I see new beginnings. And I know I got a lot of moisture and strong foundation in my roots. My For whatever reason, I ain't built like the rest of those plants. I'm able to um, withstand heat and, dra and droughts and lack of moisture. It, I'm a succulent. I'm a freak. You understand what I'm saying? Like, for real. Other animals or creatures will actually come to you for... A glass of water for you know what I'm saying for clarity for you know the truth for information that will like help them in the future you know what I'm saying what is this here love abound 
heal and dedicated effort. I think this came out in your other reading. Um, so what, what this is basically telling me is to take your focus off of love right now. Because I, I feel like that's why that five of emotions is right there. And, and I feel like you are going to some type of like support group or something or some type of soul tribe group or whatever where it's like everyone is focusing on healing from past fucked up relationships stop focusing on that focus on your money focus on your foundation right now right now it's not time to focus on that right now it's time to avoid that shit and jump the ship you understand what i'm saying and it might be someone that is in a relationship. Like, y'all might actually be in a marriage right now and might be feeling lonely and shut out in your fucking marriage. You know what I'm saying? Clarity of belief. It looks like someone wants to transform and grow. Like, they've transformed from this to focus on, number one, their self. Clarity and belief for what you want. New beginning, new day. No more inner work done. Listen, there's no more inner work that needs to be done. It needs to be outer work that needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? Balance. So I really do feel like it might be someone that might be leaving a relationship as well. Because, um, like I said before, inspiration that represents marriage. Because this person has been having to go to people outside of their marriage to find clarity. And someone is ready to jump ship because it's something about this woman having lacked their up because of this contagion that's been going on this sickness that has been going on created a new day for this person because it's, it's like they de they decided i'd rather be fuck alone i'd rather be alone i'm feeling helpless and hopeless shit is just shit ain't right with the justice in the reverse I'm ready to sing a new day. Like, I'm done with the cycle. Tens represents over. It's like, I don't even want to speak anymore about this shit. Dedicated effort on, like, and grounded on focusing on drawing a new picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I don't even want to speak about this shit no more. Dead fucking ass. I don't even want to speak on this shit no more. That shit wasn't fucking fair. Left me feel helpless and hopeless. Listen, I'm tired of going through these fucking cycles. I understand. I'm good. You understand? It's, it's, it's hard to break the change and heal. It's been very hard for whoever this is to heal. That's why they've been needing help from this vocal group and this, and this social group and stuff like that. But you got to learn how to heal by your own. You are the breaker of chains. No one at this group cannot do it for you. You understand what I'm saying? You have to learn how to do that on your own and how to listen. You have to do it. They're here to support you while you do it. But you have to do it. Once you do that, once you break those chains, then again, love abounds. Listen, that's when you can focus. You put your real soul focus on that. But until then, you got to break those chains first and you got to heal. And so that, I don't feel like love should even be the focal point of your energy right now, baby. Let's get into this unicorn energy. And then we about to get up out of here. I'm about to do this. And we're about to do love oracle. We might do a... Yeah, we want to do a magic for the love. Give me guidance for my beautiful unicorns out here that are trying to heal and they find that balance and they have a courage right now. I'm serious, like the corona shit, like this sick shit that's been going on, it's really been um it's really been breaking up a lot of people. But at the same time, they've been really Figuring out what they want and what they stand for and what their true value is. And if there is a situation, even especially if you've been locked in the house with someone and you've been feeling helpless and hopeless and there's someone that's there, I'd rather be by myself. I don't want to do this anymore. You understand what I'm saying? It's like I'd rather whoever this is, is they're finding communication with other people that have suffered from broken hearts have been trying to heal. But they're just having struggles with healing on their own when they're not connected to this group. That's basically it. You know what I'm saying? Give me guidance for my beautiful unicorns out here. Because y'all are beautiful. What is this? The Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is like outsmarting your competitor. And they said, and they just said, I'm leaving with what I got. But those other two swords, I want them back. So it's like, I don't know if you managed to like outsmart whoever it was. 
that you feel like was trying to betray you or was trying to deceive you if you like educated yourself or you found like a slip knot um I don't know what a slip knot has anything to do but they're saying a slip knot something about a fucking slip knot oh Everybody trying to tell me that you tied somebody up and got away. What the fuck? Leo. <laughs> Listen. It's okay. I'm understanding. Slipknot. So they're saying like somehow you got someone tied up in another situation with some other shit and you managed to sneak away because that person a slipknot. So it's like this person got caught up and entangled in trying to get out of something else it gave you enough time to get away ha ha listen ha ha smart motherfucker ha ha and it's like why this person is too busy trying to figure out how to get out of this slip knot you ran away with what you could carry at that time but you plan things out in a certain way so that you had enough time to safely get them other two swords that you left behind without getting caught but i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you wise man once told me don't be greedy you understand what i'm saying when you pull a heist and you're able to get away bitch don't go back trying to get that that leftover that's how the motherfucker get caught if you got away and you were able to evade justice. Do you understand what I'm saying? Get the fuck on. Don't go back. Don't go back. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't go back trying to retrieve the, the other shit that you lost. Okay? You Listen, how many swords you got? You got five swords. You got five swords. So you already got real figgity with a nigga. <laughs> listen, you, got, you already got real freaky with a nigga. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Listen, you see that... um. <laughs> You see the amethyst on your rump, baby? Look, you ain't play with a motherfucker. Look, look. <laughs> they just said, you see the amethyst on your rump? Fuck Trump. That's what they just said in my head. <laughs> hey, father. You see the amethyst on the rump? Fuck Trump. It's like, listen, they already got some understanding on how they got to get rickety raw with niggas out here. Because motherfuckers think people are playing. The five of swords is when shit get real in the field. You understand what I'm saying? When shit get real. You might got to lie. You might got to scheme. You, you might got to manipulate. You got to might have to pull out your old school moves that you used to do back in the day when pimping wasn't no illusion. But motherfuckers must they know how we get down from here. You understand what I'm saying? Do not go back for that extra shit. You already got five of swords. Listen, you got five of swords. Listen, you got two on your hip, two on your side, and one in your mouth. Let's ride. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? You you got, you are good. And you're getting away with the shit. You're good. Do not go back being greedy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whatever you get away with, just be cool with that shit. Do not go back away. Do not go back being greedy. Like you got away. Whoever this is, balance, strength, cycles. Listen, the strength card. You are bound to be a motherfucker to be reckoned with. You're not scared no more. You're using your tactics. You're using your skill. The seven of swords represents skills. Quick maneuvers. Watching someone planning, plotting, and strategizing, and fucking attacking motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? Damn near when they least expect it, but when you came through, you came through with a force to be fucking reckoned with. You made motherfuckers sit down. You understand what I'm saying? And realize who the fuck they were dealing with. They were dealing with Leo around this motherfucker. And it seemed like you did the shit oh so pretty. <laughs> oh so pretty. Okay? Gave him a little pleasure and pain all at the same time. What is this? Listen, listen to Five of Wands. Listen. The Five of Wands is when we don't compare where we don't compete with. But at the same time, bitch, I will beat your ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Because if I step down up off of this throne and start clickety-clacking these bones across niggas' heads in the name of B. Scott. Y'all remember when B. Scott had to come down and talk about he was about to beat the fuck out of his Ethiopian goddamn neighbor because the bitch was getting on his nerves. He said he ain't want to have to come down here and start the clicking and clacking across bitches' heads. Let's just negotiate and find a better way to make peace with each other and listen to each other and hear each other out because I ain't playing with you. Okay? I am not playing with you. Okay? Listen to five of goddamn wands. you like, listen, I ain't, I ain't here to fight. I ain't came here to fight. I came here, number one, to show you I, I'm not playing with you, but I ain't come here to fight. And I'm a little bit smarter than the average bear. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, whereas so someone thought that Leo would not stand up for themselves, they should have known better than that. Gotta be quicker than that. Listen, the Ten of Cups. Okay, come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Would it be yo? Leo, would it be yo? And it's this. This is like a new family. This is a new family to me. A new family. You guys snuck away and had strength and determination to get yourself out of a situation where there was a lot of competing, there was a lot of arguing, there was a lot of gossip, there was a lot of rumors, there was a lot of jealousy, there was a lot of just unwanted, unneeded fucking drama. And you got tired of it. And you said, I don't compare what I don't compete with. You snuck away. You didn't get greedy. You didn't get caught. And you were able to move on and create a new fucking family, a new dynasty. Listen, is this the four cups? Whatever the fuck the motherfuckers wanted to give you now. Look, now motherfuckers want to give you shit. You don't even want it no more. You don't even want it anymore. This is a card of awakening, enlightenment. You understand? Someone not being drunk anymore. Someone that is not uh, intoxicated anymore. It's like I'm not high off of the illusion that I can't be successful, that I can't find happiness, that, you know what I'm saying? I have to sit here and deal with this constant fear of rejection. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to fear rejection. I'm not missing out on nothing. If anything, y'all motherfuckers is missing out on something. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not about to sit here and compete and, 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 and go through all this drama and all this bullshit when I can pack myself up and show you I'm the baddest bitch. Okay, come on. Come on, Trina. Hey, I'm the baddest bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. I'm the baddest bitch. Come on now. Listen, fool no more. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, it'll be a shame on me. And bitch, I ain't no fool. You ain't got boo-boo the fool sitting over here, honey. No boo-boo the fool over here, baby. Listen, king of wands energy. King of action. King of action. Baby. You see that goddamn chameleon or whatever that damn lizard is that's on this clock. That what I, I know it says that that damn lizard walks through fire. Like the phoenix. You understand? I'm not someone that sits there and plays around with bitches and be talking about what I'm going to do. Bitch, you find out what I'm going to do when it's done. Do you understand? You find out what I'm going to do when it's done, bitch. Okay? Fuck niggas better run, bitch. I don't have it to do. I don't have you to do, listen again, the ten of swords in the reverse. Those days are over. Those days of motherfuckers playing with me, betraying me, doing things unjust, me feeling frightened like I can't get up and start a new day. Oh no, those days are over, baby. Okay. They're saying, now they're saying hasta luego. Hasta luego. There's some Spanish people that watch my, my shit because I'm getting Spanish. <laughs> Hasta luego. Yes, because I definitely don't say hasta luego. Okay, bitch. Yes, I am with it. Hasta luego, bitch. Okay. Oh, there's some poppy that watch me. Come on, poppy. Listen, come on, poppy. Hasta luego. Yes. Listen. Yes, this is a man energy. And look, look, you see this motherfucker? This is a man's energy. He just got what well, he's carrying light. Oh, you know what they say? They, they, they're singing to me. Now stay woke. Dun, 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 dun. Niggas creeping. They gon' find you. Gon' catch you sleeping. Oh, now stay woke. Boom, 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 boom. Niggas creeping. 
Don't you close your eyes, yeah. Hold on. Daylight. I wait a minute. I don't know the word. No, hold on. It's, it's something. He was like, something, but you won't play right. I used to know you, but now shit don't feel like. Now shit don't feel right. Something about wasting his time. I used to know you not that shit don't feel right. Yes. Give me guidance for my Leos in love. Listen, playing the hand of the cards that they were dealt. Taking a risk. Jumping out there and leaping towards their fucking future. They are studying this and keeping that poke, pup, 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 poker face. Keeping that poker face on. Not letting their opponent know what their next move is going to be. Even if they got a full house, a full house, a whole deck of cards in their hand, they ain't letting the next nigga know. You understand? As far as you need to know, nigga, I'm out here struggling. I'm po, okay? I'm po pimping, nigga. I'm po pimping, okay? Okay, listen, we pole pimping. Ooh, oh, ooh, do you wanna ride in the backseat of the caddy? Chop it up with do a die. P I M P. Out of you, but logically, you be learning these hoes by out of you. Obviously, well, P. I mean, hold on. Who is this in the who is this in here? Okay, first we had pimping, ain't no illusion. And then we, now, we, now we got motherfucking um, do a die, bitch. Come on now. Who we got up in here? Who we got? It's definitely some male energy up in here. Y'all said I ain't kissing nobody ass no fucking mo. I ain't kissing nobody ass. My mama ain't raised me. Mama ain't raised no fool. Mama ain't raised me. Listen, mama ain't raised no hoe. What? Huh? Mama ain't raised no hoe. Come on, two chains. Mama ain't raised no hoe. I'm look, hold on. I'm just trying to make my mama proud. I ain't trying to let my mama down. I'm just trying to make my mama proud. Because mama ain't raised no hoe. Yes, come on, YG. Listen. Listen. It seems like there's not going to be any movement going forward. You're not kissing ass and you're not moving. You're not moving in the direction where you were anymore. Because it's just like I'm not... I'm not prepared to keep kissing your ass. Like I said, they're four cups. It's like you've been awake and I'm not going to keep being rejected. I'm not going to keep being disrespected. Um, it's your loss. It's definitely not mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to continue to offer my services and my attention to a place where I'm not wanted. I'm not no fucking fool. I No. Uh -uh, the golden mirror. They said someone need to look in the golden mirror. Someone is going through some self-delusion and a damn sure the fuck ain't me. Okay? It says self-absorbed, narcissist, a one-sided relationship, love bombs. Yes, yeah, someone has most definitely been going through this corona situation. And they feel like there's been a sickness. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's been going on. And I feel like all of this shit has been made to clean the sickness because it's been going on in people's houses because a lot of people have been not happy in their homes and they're in relationships and they've been having to find safe havens on the outside of their fucking relationships because they've been feeling helpless and hope and hopeless and they've been feeling lonely when they have you know what i'm saying someone in the house and that's why i'm saying you gotta look at the man in the mirror i'm asking you to change your ways listen Looking in the man in the mirror. If you want to make it well a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. Listen, I'm starting with the man in the mirror, and I'm saying not today. I don't want to hear no more of that bullshit. Nah, 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 I don't want to hear that shit. Nah, 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 not today. Okay, I've been a victim of a selfish kind of love. It's time that I realize. Come on. All right. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person, boundaries, still angry. No, no, no. Listen, no, 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 no. I don't want to talk to you, nigga. The fuck? Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided situation i've been a victim of a selfish kind of love it's time that i realize looking at that man in the mirror honey well look, look the snake it's been a snake laying right in the bed with him 
I've been a victim of love to redeem, to redeem, pretending that you're not alone. I don't know what the fuck he be saying. <laughs> Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. I feel like you guys have literally witnessed the snake in your own home. That's why it's that helpless and hopeless and that y'all been communicating that shit to y'all soul group. But you gotta be strong outside of the soul group. Look, girl talk, I told you. You guys have been talking to your soul group. You guys have been talking to your soul group. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. You've been getting this by your soul tribe to help you move on. Listen, but the phoenix caught right here. I don't do the phoenix in the reverse. There's only one way, one way to read the phoenix. Okay? Still I rise. Still I rise. Still I rise. It says a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, a changed mind. Still I rise. It's time that I realize. Listen, I cannot even do y'all no more. I cannot. Y'all don't really, really. The clarity and belief, dedicated effort is just taking some time to heal, baby. But we got you. We surely fucking got you. Give me the outcome in this love situation. And then I'm going to clarify the outcome. And we up out of here, Leo. Thank you so much for being patient. Out of my two, three, four, six, seven times trying to record this video, and y'all still let me know if y'all want me to release those other uploads um, of the distracted videos. It says morning in the reverse. You're not mourning the situation anymore. It's time to get up off of the ground. You don't place your roses there. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I can't stay in a dead situation when I'm living. I need to be amongst the living. You know what I'm saying? I need to be in a living, breathing, harmonious, and abundant relationship. I cannot stay in a dead past situation that is no longer breathing. You understand? I got to play the hands. I got to play the hand of the card that I was dealt. You know what I'm saying? And I've been dealt a card that told me to stop mourning. Because it's getting in the middle. And it's getting away of my intuition. Of my inspiration, of my self expression. This is that understanding. This is that crown chakra. This is that amethyst card. Remember, I said you had that amethyst on your booty? On your booty. Your booty. <laughs> okay? Do not let you continue to mourn over something. Listen, to get in the way of your spiritual path. To get in the way of your spiritual ass. Okay, come on. Your booty. Your booty. Okay, don't let it get in the way of your spiritual ass. Come on. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Come on. We, we shaking our spiritual ass. Listen. Self-aware, spiritual, and intuitive. The more and more that you sit there and mourn, which we're not doing, is getting in the way of our spiritual self. Do you understand? Listen. Horns. Be dominant. Be strong. You understand? Be who you are. Y'all already know what it is, Leo. You already know what it be, yo. So listen, stop mourning. The more that you mourn, it's getting in the way of your spiritual booty and your booty. Hold on. It ain't your <laughs> It ain't your spiritual booty. It's your beauty. Okay? It's getting in the way of your spiritual booty and your beauty. Okay? I think I'm going to call this shit your spiritual booty and your beauty. Okay, girlfriend? Yes. So listen, I'm about to get up out of here, y'all. Let's get one more card. If I can. If I can. Listen. I, I, they keep saying that shit to me. Now they just keep singing Man in the Mirror. I've been a victim of a selfish kind of love. It's time that I realize. That's all they keep saying to me. But I don't know what he's saying next. You gotta give it to love. To the deep, to the deep. Pretending that you're not alone. Uh, and uh, in, uh, somebody's broken heart. I don't know the words, y'all. I swear to God. We follow each other all in the long. Cause we got nowhere to go. That's why I want you to know. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking you to change your ways. Yes. And you know, Mr. Don't get any clearer. 
If you wanna make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make the change. You gotta get it right while you got the time. You need to close your mind. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, listen, I had to go off. My jack had to go off, okay? Oh my goodness, it's saying judgment in the reverse. Judgment in reverse. Yo, Michael Jackson is going off of my head. Now, now, now that part is going, change. You got to thing. Uh, uh, hey, man in the mirror. You got to, you got to, uh, uh, yourself. Uh, da, woo. Hey, make that change. Hey, you got to, hey, man in the mirror. You got to, you got to. Whoa, I'm dead ass serious. This song is like pumping. Do not have no lack of judgment. Make that change. Make that change. Yo, do not fuck up. The only person that you want to have to blame is the man in the mirror. Y'all, Michael Jackson has spoke. sha la 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 sha la sha la So I love y'all. Listen, not today. Not today. Okay? Na 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 Bitch, make that change. I love you guys. I thank you for loving me. If this video has resonated, y'all click that like button. And again, if y'all want me to upload those, dis those three distraction videos where I was distracted and I could not focus through the video because there was so much going on, y'all let me know. I love y'all. Make the change. I love y'all. Peace.